Hello everyone, I'm John Lombana and this is my story on how I got my first ever drum kit. I started playing drums when I was nine and that was 23 years ago. Uh, I grew up in Caracas, the capital city of Venezuela, and my family always lived in apartments, which basically meant that for me, having a drum set at home was never an option. Uh, I played in Venezuela for about 10 years, mostly at church on weekends. And then I moved to the UK when I was 18 to study at a music college. I never was quite sure if I would ever settle there. Therefore, during my three years there, I never really purchased any uh, drum kit. However, I was very blessed to play on tons of drum kits at the college. Uh, in fact, I had plenty of opportunities to record on you know, albums, to do little events here and there. I even recorded my own sort of instructional drum DVD. And again, this is when I guess I started getting a feel of what real good drum kits feel and sound like. However, uh, in 2010, I moved to South Africa uh, to undertake a three-year volunteer program. Those years were incredible for me. I could really grow uh, not only as a teacher, but also uh, as a musician. And again, in South Africa, I got opportunities to do drum clinics in schools, at churches. Uh, I was featured in drum magazines. I was invited to drumming events, all kinds of opportunities that came. I was very blessed to receive a work permit in 2014. And that's when I started sort of slowly settling in South Africa. When you get a work permit in South Africa, you get a condition on your visa uh, and in my case that condition say that I was allowed to teach at the music school where I am still employed at meaning that for all those years I was not allowed to work outside of the school and that's the reason why I never invested in drum gear big shout out to my m and family for all these years of growth not only as a teacher but also as a musician I would certainly not be the person that I am today without all its staff and students positive impact in my life it wasn't until 2020 that by God's grace I received a permanent residence uh, to remain in South Africa and based Basically, that officially or legally allowed me to begin operating on my own capacity as an independent musician. However, 2020, you guys all know what happened. COVID came and uh, basically the performing industry changed uh, completely, meaning that I could not seek anything during that year. And then last year, 2021, was also quite a busy year for me in terms of the work that I do as a teacher. Therefore, I waited until now, 2022, to decide that it's the time for me to begin making time within my working hours to start seeking opportunity in the performing industry as a session musician. And uh, today, I am about to open my first ever drum set. Now, this drum set came from an amazing company called Tarian Drums, which is a, a Welsh company. It's co-owned by a man with whom I studied in the UK. His name is Rhys. Uh, we reconnected about half a year ago, and I got to know what he does with Tarian Drums. And as a company, they make amazing, amazing drum kits, 100% handmade. And uh, yeah, we basically began uh, exploring the possibility of me getting an endorsement uh, with the company. This is officially me announcing to you that I am now endorsed by Tarion Drums and uh, today I received the final parcel of an amazing drum kit that I cannot wait to show you. Also through Tarion Drums I got to know um, Red Symbols in Australia. They do partner with each other so I also managed to get a very good deal. So a huge thank you also to Dylan from Red Symbols. I cannot wait to try these symbols. Look it's quite humbling when you can finally have something that you can proudly say this is my drum kit and the drum kit that I want to showcase to the whole world, you know, to my friends and to my working environment, as well as to all of you, our online viewers. It really is a humbling thought. And uh, yes, it might seem funny that, I took, that it took a whole 20 plus years, 23 years to be precise, to uh, buy my first drum set or make this investment. And I feel like, uh, yeah, even though it did take quite a while, um, I'm very grateful for the journey, you know, for all that I've learned in this time, all the experiences that I've had, uh, both as a musician and as a teacher. But now a new season is about to start and I can't wait to share with you guys this new journey as an independent session musician. And uh, I just wanna thank you all for taking the time to listen to my story. I hope you've gotten something out of it. Thank you so much for all the support. All right, everyone, here we are at m, &M Performing Arts Academy, ready to open my first ever drum set. So let's do this. I'm just gonna do this, guys. Uh, wow, okay. quite heavy. Oh, there's some merch as well. Let's do this. I'm not cutting anything that I shouldn't. <laughs> nice. Tarion, by the way, means a shield. 
in Welsh. So this is, this must be the skins. Yeah, the skins are in here. Got the skin here. Yo, so much. Tarian drums. Wow, this is beautiful. Let's leave this stuff here. Okay. And this could hold another symbol. Sure. It's all a natural wood finish, of course. Wow, yo, this thing is heavy. Sure. Okay, wow. Oh man, so beautiful. Sure. Sure. What a look, eh? So beautiful, so uh, smooth, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, I guess if I squeeze it all. I wish you could smell, smell of maple wood. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, exactly, it is. Skin. My shirt, my shirt is kind of matching with this today. Yeah. That was unplanned, by the way. <laughs> I actually like the color, eh? Wow, man, okay, sure. Wow, okay, when you look at it like that, it's quite uh, impressive, I must say. It's quite big, bro, actually. Mm. I use a splash or something, you know, uh, in the future. I'll just get an arm for that. So, Dude, look oh, at bro, the it's not actually built into the... Okay, so this is Red Symbols, okay? Was, uh, they were also quite uh, generous. Huge thanks, huge shout out to uh, Red Symbols. Let's have a look at this baby. Oh, this one is just like, oh man, that is so cool, eh? Oh man, look at that. This is so cool, eh? This is awesome. Okay, the traditional and the vertical series. It's very good, eh? 18 inch crash. So far, highly impressed, eh? Yo, man, okay. All right, this is the 22 inch traditional ride. It's quite real, eh? Wow, man, this is so beautiful, eh? It's honestly, I'm just oh, so overwhelmed, eh? Uh, I can't wait to uh, yeah, combine these two frames together and begin making some magic, eh? That looks so beautiful, guys. It's just crazy to see it like that with symbols as well. Yo, man. Sure. Unbelievable. <sighs> guys, okay, it's uh, pretty surreal still, you know? It's uh, yeah, again, man, the wait was worth, was so worth this, ah, oh, such a blessing, man. Um, yeah, why not? Should I? Should I go, okay? All right. Um, okay, let's see. I don't have ear protection, but it's fine. I want to hear the, the actual sound. Okay. Um,